Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 377. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 377 to 380. Hey, in this video, we want to see how to add up every other number. Now, there's a couple ways we could do this. The first way, if it's a small data set, we can just use the sum function. Use the keyboard shortcut Alt equals to get your sum function. It tries to guess right. It's trying to be polite. You can see the dance and dance marching around, but forget it. If it's not right, just click in the cell it is that you want to add. And I'm going to use the control key and click on cells that are not next to each other called uh, non-contiguous range. Notice that the comma gets put in as I'm holding control and clicking. All right, so that will do it right there. Ah, but what if you have a huge data set? Now, uh, the first thing is you have to decide whether you want to add up every other number in an odd row or every other number in an even row. We'll start with odd. And the trick is going to be we're going to have to get a true false every time we get to an odd row. Notice we have 5, 7, 9, 11, etc. We're going to use the sum product equals sum product. Sum product is great. It can handle arrays without having to use the array formula keyboard shortcut, control shift enter. The first array, hey, we'll just tell it what numbers we want to look at. We want to eliminate all the ones that are in even rows. Comma. So the way we'll do it is for array 2, we will uh, set up a series of ones and zeros, one for odd and zero for even. Then this array times this array are multiplied and we'll only get the uh, numbers in the first array from the odd rows. How are we going to do that? With the mod function. Mod function gives you a remainder. F if we were to take 5 divided by 2, it would be remainder 1. Five divide, no, 6 divided by 2 it would be remainder 0. So that's what we'll do. But we need all the row numbers. So we're going to use the row function and highlight all of these rows. This will give us 5, 6, 7, etc. If I highlight this and hit the F9 key, whoops, you can see that it gives us all of those. Control Z. Now for the the reason this is an array and we have to use some product is because this argument is expecting a single number, but we're giving it a bunch of numbers. Comma and 2 is our divisor. Now what does it do? It's going to divide all those numbers by 2. If we highlight it and hit F9, you can see there are our 1's and zeros that will correspondingly be multiplied by this other array. Control Z, close parentheses, and Control Enter. So there it is, 11. If we change this to 25, our formula should update. This should be uh, 2, 3. Now let's uh, just copy um, this formula here. And let's see how we can tweak it. Notice the mod function actually gave us zeros and ones, which was convenient. But we got a one for our odd. We really want a one for the even numbers. Well, what does mod spit out when we hit an even number? Zero. So actually, if we come to the end, since this will be an array of ones and zeros, if we just say, hey, equals zero. Boom, there we're going to get our trues and falses. Now it's true for even number, control Z. That won't work because some product, if you enter it right now, goes, I don't know what to do with trues and falses. So we're simply going to convert those trues and falses to ones and zeros by using double negative. You got to put parentheses around this whole trues and falses because double negative gets calculated in order of operations before a comparative operator. So we want to force that comparative operator to be calculated inside of the parentheses and then apply the double negative. So there you go, 9. If we change uh, uh, this to 45, our formula should update. OK, so there is how to add every other number. We'll see you next trick.